Montgomery just preparing the charges now. Nonetheless, there is an atmosphere source somewhere inside this asteroid. Inside. Latest figures, Commander. We're three light years away from the nearest star system. If the asteroids come from there, to get this far at its present velocity, it's been traveling through space for at least a thousand years. Commander? They're all set. Charges in position, Commander. All right, trigger it. You were right, Victor. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's take a look. Stand clear, Victor. Visor's down. Victor? Excuse me, Jim. 
think we'll need some more explosives. Baxter, you all right? Yeah, I'm all right, Commander. You sure you're all right? Yeah, I think so. him apart. Still, let's get him back to Alpha as quickly as we can. All right, let's go. Blip. All right, John. As far as I can see, there's nothing else here. It's a one-room world. Autopsy, I suppose. As I understand it, Mike, the blast hit you harder than it hit the rest of us. Now, medical seems to think that there might be some damage. Oh, if I'm grounded, I want to know why. No bull about it. Mike, just give him a chance to check you out. As soon as you're clear, I'm sure you'll be able to fly again. As far as I'm concerned, there's no problem. All right? Yeah. If you say so.
John! Just a little while ago, that man was severely injured. He was mutilated beyond description. I happen to know because I dressed his wounds myself. Yes, when you brought him here, he was severely injured. And then everything indicated that he had died. Well, now he's alive. And what's more, we can't find any sign of injury, internal or external. He is completely healed. Doctor. Have you checked this? No mistake. What is it? Well, these figures indicate the rate of the alien cell replacement process. His body is regenerating cells so fast, they don't have time to decay. There's no cell decay. Oh, his body is being held in some sort of stasis. Bob, speed up the rest of the figures, will you please? Right. Helena. Helena, that asteroid's been out in space for maybe a thousand years. Now, is it conceivable? Is it possible that he's been out there all that time? Well, these figures are just early indications. But if they're leading us where I think they are, anything is possible. I'm going to put two security men outside that door. No one is to have access to this room unless I give permission. This is a rock sample from the asteroid from the atmosphere chamber. And uh, I bombarded it with antimatter to try and break down its molecular structure. So that, to all intents and purposes, it should have ceased to exist. Like this. Switch off the disintegrator. And now look. Somehow, reformed, reintegrated, regenerated. Just like the cell structure of the alien when his injury is healed. Mind you, it's a long shot. Because, uh, it's something I haven't come across before. But my guess is that it's not really a rock at all, but a living organism. You can burn it, scrape it, blast it, bombard it with antimatter, and somehow it'll regenerate itself. question is, is it organic matter, or was it created for some specific purpose? Yes, of course, it's, uh, it's possible that it's something like the shell of a tortoise designed to protect the man inside, prevent people like us from getting in. Or to prevent him from getting out.
know where to look. Fine. You can sit up now. So, when do I get back to flying? Well, we'll have to uh, check the tests first. Checks, checks, checks. Goodbye, Doctor. It was a pleasure. This means to you, Mike. Well, what's the story? Your optic nerve. It's been severely damaged. escape from security. Assembly Area D. Security, Assembly Area D. Hello. Use the kill ray. No! Please! Please, I must! 
talk to you. My name is Balor. I am a citizen of the planet Progron. Why did you attack our people? Commander, please believe me. I mean your people no harm. Balor, we brought you here because you were injured to help you. I understand that now. But when you blasted your way into the asteroid, I was hurt, disorientated. I asked myself, what is happening? Why should people do this to me? What is this nightmare? And then I am attacked by your guards. I defend myself. And then weapons are drawn. Now is the time to stop, to talk, to try to understand each other. Yes. It was fear that made our people react as they did. Commander, please do not misunderstand me. You have done me a great service. A service which leaves me deeply in your debt. I have a question. I used a full blast kill laser on you. I don't understand why you're not dead. Of course you don't. My powers are no accident of evolution. Once, a long time ago, we were mortal, as you are. Our scientists began to experiment with the forces of life and death. They found first a means to eliminate the aging process in living tissue. From there they went on until they achieved total mastery of cell regeneration. Until finally they realized that death was defeated. That immortality itself was possible. Your people achieved immortality? Yes. My body is immortal. And I have lived for over a thousand of your years. Ella, that asteroid was out in space a very long time. Why were you inside it? I will tell you what happened on my world. And then perhaps you will begin to understand. Our people accepted the gift of eternal life offered to them by science. With nothing to strive for, our people became apathetic, corrupt. Our civilization decayed, lost its purpose, became negative. Some of us realized what was happening. We tried to reverse the process. We tried to instill in the minds of our people the thought that only death gives a purpose to life, that a full response to life can only be measured against the fear of death. How can you value life if you do not fear death? In any event, my efforts failed. How can you teach immortals to feel like mortals? Our world was in chaos. <laughs> Our leaders lacked vision. They could not accept the philosophy, my philosophy, which offered a way out, a means to transcend the limitations of the human spirit. I persisted, but in the end they turned on me. I was the enemy, the cause of all their misfortune. 
A prison was constructed out of living rock. And I was shut in and cast out to suffer eternal solitude for what were considered my crimes. Is there something we can do for you? I belong nowhere. To no one. to believe him. Why? Oh, what we know about the asteroid, how long it's been out there in space, it adds up. Does it? I don't know. Well, it makes sense. We know immortality is possible. If we'd been offered immortality, would we have chosen differently? No. But if we found out we made a mistake, as the Progrons did, would we punish the man who offered us a way out? What are you trying to say? I don't know. I don't know. But why would such a civilized people punish a man in such a diabolical way? And what about the paintings inside the asteroid? How do they fit in? Destruction. Torture. Right. Maybe that was Balor's solution. Maybe that's what he offered his people. Can we assume that from those paintings? He was in that asteroid for a long time. Maybe he painted them himself. Or maybe they were put there to remind him of something. Something he hasn't told us about. I want you to run a constant computer check on Balor's whereabouts. Yes, Commander. What do you want? I can understand you resenting me. Can you? You take your flying very seriously, don't you? Come on, what is it? And your... Minor disability has taken the joy of flying away from you. What do you want with me? Perhaps I can help you. Commander, computer reports that Malor has just entered Mike Baxter's quarters. Baxter? Thanks, Colonel. I see you're feeling better about things, Mike. Valor was here. What did he want?
Baxter got the jump on me. He went completely berserk. I never stood a chance. He was crazy, violent. He was still battering me when, when I passed out. And yet, look at me now. There wasn't a mark on me. I don't know what the hell's going on. Bob. I want to report on what caused this death. Yes, we rush an autopsy through straight away. Joe, oh, that expression, that attitude of the hands, where have we seen that before? Inside the asteroid. Those pictures on the walls. Ballard could have regenerated your injuries. But why? What's he up to? He's trying to take over. What other reason could there be? Then why didn't he kill you? It doesn't make sense. No. But it's beginning to. Paul, locate Balor. Have him come to my office. wanted to see me, Commander. Yes. Did you visit one of our people, a man called Baxter? He's now dead. Is he? What did you do to him? Now look, Balor, I happen to know you went to Baxter's quarters did something to his mind that made him attack me viciously. And then you waited until he thrashed me within an inch of my life. And then you came back and healed my wounds. Correct? Yes, everything that you say is absolutely correct. Why? A demonstration, Commander. Foretaste of what is to come. You're not sane, Balor. Who are you to judge what is sane and what is not? I failed with my own people because they were like myself. Immortals. But here, it will be different. Here, I have found the perfect models geared for my precise purpose. Only one change. You will follow my way. My philosophy will prevail here now. You see, Koenig, I have plans here. When you release me from my isolation, you left something there very precious to me. My paintings. Of course you noticed them. Scenes of terror, torture, chaos, destruction. I know now that they were put there to remind you of what you did to your own people. Right again, Koenig. And a thousand years of reflection have convinced me. I was right. And now I have found a golden opportunity to prove it. With you. Accept the challenge, Koenig. Surrender to the exquisite forces of pain and suffering and you will transcend your limitations. You're evil, Bala. And what you offer is evil. We will resist you and what you stand for. Oh, please, don't make me kill you. I have to be careful with mortals. You have the release of death. Baxter was too lucky. 
No. I want you alive. You, Alpha, your people. You belong to me. And I will do with you as I wish. And you will come to accept what I have to offer. You'll see. No. How will you stop me? Kill me. We'll find a way, somehow. So you will not do as I command. You'll have to kill me first. Commander a choice. He refused. There will be death and destruction on this base. Until he agrees. Once with us and he knows it. Commander, damage reports are coming in. Bala is tearing Alpha apart. Look, he wants Alpha, Paul. He won't destroy us, at least not yet. Well, can't we do something? Yes, hold out until we come up with something. We've got to find some way to fight him, or we're finished. Victor. That's good, Bob. Nice and easy. You have heard of my powers of healing. Your medical functions here are now obsolete. I am in control of this unit, and I shall determine whether or not my function is obsolete. Believe me, you are. This equipment, though, has possibilities, and possibilities that will amaze you and may even interest you. Get out of here. communications hardware in section C is wrecked. There's damage to the labs in the research area. Do you want me to go on? He's just destroying everything, Commander. John. He was just here. Go on. One of our orderlies is... Balor is a cold-blooded killer. Evacuate the medical center and get over here right away.
is he now? Last reported heading towards Area B. Get all our people out of there. What about Paul? Bella's gonna hear that. You're right. I'll put it through the Comlux. Main mission to Area B. I think there's a way we could slow him up. How? Oh. We'll soon be able to isolate him in one of the Alpha sections. Then we could depressurize and turn the whole area into a vacuum. Better still, we could get him off Alpha, out into space. Near an airlock. No, no. Not unless we forced him to. Paul, get him on the screen. Aller. You agree to my terms? No psychopath is going to dictate terms to us, Baller. You will show. Is section clear yet? Yes, sir. All right, I'm going in there. I want you to seal all doors behind me. As soon as I'm clear to pressurize. Are you crazy? You'll tear you to pieces. You can't fight Alan, him. Alan, I know that. What do you want me to do? Invite him to leave? You know what to do. He'll kill him, Victor. I know. He's gone in there to take Bella. Alone. Here, Paul. Check, Commander. What are you doing here, Kone? Thinking. Thinking about accepting my offer? Maybe. But I need more time, Pallor.
You haven't got any more time, Koenig. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Balor, I need a little more time. I'm going to make you suffer, Koenig. <laughs> I need more time, Balor. <laughs> All right, Koenig. Time's up, Koenig. Forget. I've already waited. A thousand years! I want your decision. No, Koenig! He's gonna kill him. Helen! I'm gonna help her. you to think, Koenig. I'm trying not to kill you, Koenig. I need you on Alpha. Huh? Never, Valley! Now! Are you all right, Commander? Ranging now. In your own time, Alan. We survived. It was our fault. We unleashed him. We meddled. We interfered with another people's justice. We must learn to leave some things alone. Yes, he could have given us immortality. No. The price was too high. All right, let's get this place into shape. Let's go.